My name is Eski Shibuya. I will now start my presentation. Human brain is known to have layer structure and the layer is collection of neurons. And we know that the brain performs not only feed forward process from the lower layer to the upper layer, but also feedback process from the upper layer to the lower layer. Convolutional neural network is a mathematical model of the function of neurons. And several models are proposed until now. Although convolutional neural network imitates the human brain, everyone uses only field forward process and feedback process is not used. Therefore, purpose of this research is to improve accuracy by feedback the output of CNN. So we propose feedback unit. Our model introduces feedback process to unit. This figure shows the architecture of the feedback unit. We made two major changes to unit. The first change is to do feedback the output of unit to input layer. In the unit, we acquire probability map of each class by a softmax function at the final layer. The segmentation results are obtained from this probability map. However, in our model, the probability map is the feedback once to input layer like human brain. And the output obtained on the second run is the final output and segmentation result. The second change is the usage of convolutional LSTM. Convolutional LSTM layer is a recurrent neural network and it deals with sequential data. When feedback is performed in normal convolutional layer, only weights are shared. Because normal convolutional layer does not deal with sequential data. Thus, the features extracted at the first round is unrelated to the features extracted at the second round. In contrast, our model replaces convolutional layer with convolutional LSTM. It is possible to perform convolution based on the future extracted at the first round. We put convolutional LSTM at the locations where local and global features are available. Our model is trained with two loss functions, the loss for the first round and the second round. Both of them are defined as softmax cross entropy loss. The overall loss is given by this equation. This lambda is a hyperparameter and we set 0.5 because the second round is more important for segmentation. We use two datasets. One is Drosophila's cell image dataset. This dataset consists of four classes. Black is cytoplasm, red is cell membrane, green is mitochondria, and blue is synapse. The other is mass cell image dataset. This dataset consists of three classes. Blue is cytoplasm, red is cell membrane, and green is a nucleus. Images in both data sets are 256 times 256 pixels. This table shows comparison result with another method on the Drosophila cell image dataset. Our unit is a segmentation model composed of unit and recurrent neural network. Our unit replaces each convolutional layer with recurrent convolutional layer on unit. Feedback unit with recurrent convolutional layer is a model which replaces convolutional LSTM in our approach with recurrent convolutional layer. Our method achieves the best accuracy on Drosophila cell image dataset. For other methods, there is no significant improvement in accuracy over the baseline. Especially, we found that the accuracy of synapse with small area is reduced. We consider that high-level features are obtained regardless of the presence or absence of convolutional LSTM by forming feedback processing for three classes with large area such as cytoplasm, cell membrane, and mitochondria. However, for synapse classes with small area, high-level features are lost without convolutional LSTM, 
and IOU decreased. Our model achieves the best accuracy on mass cell image dataset. For other methods, there is no improvement from baseline unit. In addition, our approach has higher generalization ability than our unit. Further, it shows the effectiveness of convolutional LSTM, the recurrent neural layer. This figure shows the segmentation results by each method. First, for Dorsophila cell image dataset, feedback unit without convolutional LSTM is better than unit on distinction between cell membrane and mitochondria. However, undetected area of synapse stand out. In contrast, our approach gave good segmentation results for all classes. On mass cell image dataset, there is no big difference between unit and feedback unit without convolutional LSC. In both methods, cell membrane are not connected well. However, our approach improves the accuracy of cell membrane and more connected. Next, these figures show the sum of the output of the first layer and the second round. Real function is used after convolution. From left to right shows the ground rules feedback unit without convolutional LSTM and ours. White means 0 and red means 255. The feature map of a feedback unit without convolutional LST loses the information of cell membrane, mitochondria, and especially synapse. However, it turns out that our approach can extract the feature map highlighted with cell membrane, cell nucleus, mitochondria, and synapse. According to these results, we consider that our approach complement for the features of object class, not background, in the second round. We conduct an ablation study about the location of convolutional LSTM. This figure shows the location. We see that the position of A is the most important. In addition, the position of E is secondary important. These two uh, positions where image size is the biggest and they have local features information with correct position. Therefore, it is possible to extract small feature like synapse. Actually, the accuracy of synapse is influenced by convolutional LSTM at position A and E. Furthermore, comparing position of C and position of A, B, D, and E, it turns out that is better to maintain local features than global features. Where only global features are maintained, it is worse accuracy. This is the same for both the datasets. We propose feedback unit with convolutional LST. Our model uses feedback process like human brain. Convolutional LST make it possible to extract future map of object class, not background. Especially classes with small area are influenced by position where convolutional ASTM is used. There may be better placement pattern of convolutional ASTM than our approach. This is a subject for future works.